Well, 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 spring is in the air. The creeks are getting a little bit warmer. The fish are getting a little bit more active. So let's see if we can catch us a creek fish. What's up YouTube? Um, I was gonna do my intro up at the parking lot, but everybody and their cousin decided to show up at about the same time and I said, screw it, don't do it down here. Anyway, as you can tell, we're on a little urban creek. I ain't done this in a while. Spring is finally here, which I think it is. I don't ever keep up with the dates for that. But waters are starting to warm up. Fish are starting to get more active. And I want to catch me some creek fish. Some urban creek fish. Anyway, I want to hit a couple of holes down through here and then work my way back up to the other side. Um, hopefully, I really, really want to catch a Coosa bass. They're native to, and pretty rare around this part. Well, they're native to this area, kind of rare fish, but they are super feisty and I've always considered them to be the, ah, hell, what is it? I've always basically considered them to be the um, chihuahua of fish because Coosa bass are deathly, are either deathly afraid of everything or extremely mad at everything. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this first little spot right here and see what we can make happen. There's all kinds of fish in this little creek, but one in specific that I'm after. And there is a possibility that I'll catch it if I can get my line untangled from this branch and then snag it. Oh, I think what I wanted is right there underneath where this is, or where I was snagged. But this creek is loaded with green sunfish, coosa bass, small largemouth, and various, various other aggressive little sunfish. And anyway, I'm on the Greenway here in Cleveland, Tennessee. The end of it's actually right down here, um, several miles long, and like literally in the middle of town, like there's restaurants and businesses like 100 yards away from me. Home Depot is like 150, 200 yards that way. And my rod's twisted up. And I've already kind of screwed up here. Well, these creeks, you don't want to just go right up to the bank. You want to kind of cast from a distance because as clear as these waters are, these fish can see you just as soon as you see them. Oh, had one for a second. Got it. First fish of the day. Little creek shiner. That right there would actually make a good catfish bait, but I'm not in here to catch catfish bait. I'm here to catch creek fish of any kind. However, there are catfish in this creek. That is fact. Actually, there's some bass right there below me. Got it. I watched him smoke that one. <laughs> Chill, Sparky. Chill, 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 chill. Pretty little creek bass. Get 
I actually let that one drop down to the bottom and just jig it a couple of times off the bottom. Let's see if I can get another one because there was two of them down there, I believe. Got it. What do we have? Oh, how I have missed y'all. Come on, dude. I know you ain't hooked that good. Red breast sunfish. All right, I am fully committed to regretting wearing these work boots down here. Why did I wrap my line around my rod like that? Anyway. And I'm also regretting wearing this hoodie too. Got it. He came back for it. Again. That is a monster. That is a straight up stop that is a straight up hog of a creek shiner whatever this actually is let's get that thing unhooked kind of resembles a horny head chub but every horny head chub that i have caught had more brown to them got it this looks like something different it's cause it is I watched him eat it another fine specimen of a red breast sunfish What do we got? Got us a fine specimen of a bluegill, which y'all can't see because of the light in this creek. Or under this bridge, I should say. Not a bad little bluegill. That's, that's large. Didn't even know that was on. Let it be what I think it is. It ain't, but we'll take it. Dude, that bass is chunky. Look the belly on that thing. Chill out. I have to have my pliers. There 
There we go. Good little creek bass. Got it. That's exactly what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Super chunky too. That my friends. Come on, straighten out. The super chunky red eye bass or also known as around here, Coosa bass. You can tell most of the time by that little white patch behind their eye. These things are super, super fun. They're what I was saying is kind of like a chihuahua of the creeks because they're either deathly afraid of everything or very mad at everything. But they fight. Coosa bass fight, uh, I would say kind of like a mix between a spotted bass and a smallmouth because Coosa bass don't get very big, but their attitude is there. Hmm, a new batch of shiners just came down the creek. That ain't a shiner, that's more fun. That is a good sized bluegill for these creeks at least. good shiner my hands are covered in slime and so is my hoodie now got it I had a feeling that if I cast it farther down I'd get something's attention and of course the shiner and I snagged it so that chill snagged fish don't count just in case you didn't know well I didn't have my camera on because I wasn't really planning on filming but tied on a little crankbait and get this dude back because I ain't about to bend over on this creek bank to get him out <sighs> we won't count that one but I tied on this little strike king bitsy minnow thing whatever it's called and first cast pretty much put a hurting on it well, y'all, it's actually a couple of days later. I just had some camera issues. Audio wasn't lining up with what you'd see on the screen. Um, but that was a pretty good little opening of the creek fishing season. Usually around late March, mid-March is when they really start firing up and fish start getting a lot more active. Um, got some shiners, some bluegill, some good average-sized creek bass for, you know, that creek. Of course, it varies from, you know, location to location. I have caught some around a pound and a half, two pounds out of there. But, yeah. 
hope y'all liked the video thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one oh and i'm also if you haven't seen it already which you probably have i've gone to a two video a week schedule that way it just makes it easier on me to get the content up instead of just pushing out video after video after video that way i can make them a little bit better quality and you know spread them out make them last a little bit longer but again thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video